Brad has not raced at Richmond in the Xfinity Series since 2013. That year, he swept both races. Caution on the track. Justin Marks in the Chip Ganassi Racing entry. The winner at Mid-Ohio brings out the first caution in this race. Your left side is still up. Ooh. Oh, might have got a little bit of a tap right there. But it's, it's hard to tell from that angle. Could have just been as a place that uh, it's easy for your car to get loose as you've powered up off the exit of the corner. Nope, there's contact. AJ Yaley getting into that lift. You see that wrinkle up right there. And as I said, the car's already light there. You get any help, and it's going to send you around. Did a good job of not tearing anything up there, though. You'll come in, get some tires, make a few adjustments. Go back at it. Justin was running in 25th, which is exactly where he qualified. He narrowly missed out on making that. Caution. And a caution has come out early up into the wall. Ryan Blaney in the 21. Yeah, one of the teams that we talked about that's run so well. Go to keep, keep thinking this team can win a race. Certainly not going to happen tonight. Guys, the car was smoking, and they told Ryan that it was smoking, quote, pretty good. Ryan said, I know, I know. Take a look at this. Smoke coming out from behind the 21. Reason for the first caution of the night, the 21 of Ryan Blaney up into the wall in turn two. But he was way up the racetrack, but here he's on the very bottom trying to make a pass off turn four and just loose off turn four. That's something that Steve, you and I have seen many times. Absolutely. It's just so little grip on the bottom trying to accelerate out. And amazingly, three wide at Richmond and up into the wall, it looks like the 24 of Chase Elliott. Sure enough, Sparks flying, and Chase Elliott brings out the caution. You see right here, the 31 gets down inside the 88, catches him in the corner panel, forces the 88 up into his teammate, the 24. And you see right here, Tony Stewart squeezes through the middle, but that contact must have cut the left front tire down. It took a couple laps, but here he is, down the front stretch, past the start finish line, that white and green car. You see it spark, and that's a pretty decent hit to the right side suspension and the other concern rick is no much momentum on the corner exit the two car on the bottom oh 48 trouble and jimmy johnson who hadn't come to pit road Caution. Hard looks inside, to me like the left front tire is flat but there looks to be some damage on the left front as well i don't know if he ran into another car but it had to hit something to wrinkle up that fender like that you see he's driving on the front straightaway driving into turn one right there tires down there's nothing he can do he's along for the ride pretty good job of the initial contact in the wall it wasn't really hard he was able to you know he carried the wall a long time but he'd never hit it really hard so maybe not a lot of damage and he still hasn't gotten lapped I mean the you know he's been able to keep enough speed on the racetrack to keep from getting lapped made my career so I'd like to thank him for that <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Gordon was able to win as into the wall to one and two Paul Menard dive bomb into one there fired up you can I would have thought, though, I, I, when I first saw that, I thought, well, we saw that left rear tire right. smoking, but you heard the spotter say he died by getting right into one. That means that most likely there was contact with another car. Become more difficult. So we see right here Paul Menard entering the corner, the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse underneath him. Basically, Paul Menard just yeah. comes down. It's kind of a, a late Ricky replay. You'd have there. to see it earlier on the straightaway, but it looked to me like the 17 was inside the 27. Back in, stay low, stay low, stay low, 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 lazy. It's very similar to what we saw with Jeff Gordon and Tiny. Penalty on Pitt Road. Well, he received one at lap 223. Oh, oh now it's a 13. Casey Mears catches it, and the caution's going to come out. And I'm so glad I'm sitting up here. Wow. Because the stress level for these pit crews, these drivers, and these crew chiefs, it's, it's only going up. How many tires they use as we see the 13 here getting into the back of the 93 goes down into the corner and I think he's gonna get a little help yes I do too I think 93 was upset yep just turn him around getting into the corner not the first time we've seen that it's easy to predict the help you've seen enough upset drivers but as we mentioned all these entering turn one looks like a flat left front tire straight that's a that's a hard shot and that was my point about Larson like did you really want to use those Around Here's the 19 and to get it straightened back out. Close, but that doesn't matter for the 47 team. They're going to come down to get fresh tires. See, the only thing that had a problem on the straight, the left front tires. 
It's locked up. Tires flat. It's never would turn with the left front locked up and flat. It's just not going to turn. It's on a splitter. It'll never turn. You heard the heard the crew chief. You heard the spotter rather. Eleven times the pace has been slowed down as the 20 of Matt Kenseth gets into the wall. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Coming inside. Coming inside. Coming in Steve, I've got to ask, is this a, is this because of using scuff tires or no, older no, tires? No, this is a three or four okay. groove racetrack and three and four wide racing where cars are running into each other. Look at oh, both I'm sides of this car. 20. There's dents and damage everywhere. Start away before that. On the restart, right? Watch Brad Keselowski. See Matt Kizzle on the outside. Look at Brad. He misses shift right there. The 18 car gets in the back of him. That bunched them all up. Now, as they go in the corner, boom, right there. But it all started on the front straightaway. That damage on the left front fender probably cut that left front tire, and that's what caused Kenseth's wreck. Not, I mean, you just don't know what you're going to have to do. Another caution. 47, around, and A.J. Allmendinger. A lot of damage to the right rear. That's see three wide, Clint Boyer on the outside. Contact right there. Right away, the 23 of David Reagan saw a lot of right front damage as he got into the left rear. Pretty wide doesn't normally turn out well on these short tracks. Maybe you see who stuck by that 88 of Jeff Gordon. We mentioned he pitted under the last caution. We're going to see how he cycles out. So, the Cole Pern interview, you know, about, you know, he said we're going to put tires on at the last stop, I guess. When's the last stop? Right. I mean, exactly. hey, that's what's so hard about this. Yep. Steve, is it a gut feeling for a crew I mean, chief? a car in the middle yep, of sure the four hard into the wall, the Matt 93. De, Matt Benedetto into the wall. Caution comes out again. I was just going to say, is there a crystal ball for a crew chief to know when that last caution comes out or a gut feeling? This that would be, be the it. magical answer. Could this be the last caution? I think this really helps. You know, this short run to the caution is going to help cars like Greg Biffle, Jimmy Johnson, who just came to put on tires, Clint Boyer back at 24th. I know they're a long ways, but every one of these cautions is going to try to put the stress on the leaders. Keselowski giving no room whatsoever to the 18. And another big crash on the backstretch race. Man, and right up in front of more traffic. Ryan Newman's in it. David Reagan is in it. Well, Meyer. And Chris Buescher was in it as well. Chris Buescher involved. The 83 of Dylan Lupton up on top of the 31. The fire underneath the hood of the 23. And the 14 of Tony Stewart. Looks like he's ripped the whole line out of the 14. Look at the Duma. car on top yep. of the left front fender. Newman trying to get out. You see the safety worker trying to help Dylan Lupton out. Dylan Lupton's car on top of the 31. Rick, we knew it was going to be a crazy night. Richmond, as the red flag is displayed, but this is maybe perhaps exceeded what we thought. Smoke climbs out, and the crowd acknowledging Tony Stewart before was involved in this. I think it was Ryan Newman. I think the 34 was in it, but he drove away. Definitely didn't get the most damage, but you're going to see here the 31 and the 14. There's some contact right here heading into turn one. The 31 accelerates, gets inside the 14 as they enter the backstretch. Yeah, we've seen this several times. The cars haven't, you know, get into turn one. And I think the 14 just kept coming down on the 31 on the back straight. Oh, it wasn't happy maybe with what went on in turn one. And it's a big impact by the 23. And you see right there, Chris Buescher kind of bounces between them. Yeah. Luckily gets through. But that was a really big impact for the 23 of David Reagan. It's great to see him climb out. Put the window net down right away. This would be a great view of it, Jeff. involved just as it comes down the backstretch I, I know the 14 I'm not sure if he's unhappy if, with the 31 or if he's trying to protect the position but he just continues to come from the high lane down to the low lane and the 31 has nowhere to go Ryan Newman you heard him even play with the throttle I'm not sure he was trying to measure how aggressive he wanted to be but they make contact and spin at the bottom of the backstretch 
43 was just lucky nobody was in really? front of him you could hear the rear you could hear the rear wheels hopping up and down had it had the rear tires locked up Carl Edwards in the 19 coming up the racetrack I mean if, if, if uh, did the 14 possibly have a left rear tire going down I mean look it and watching it, it looked like they just got into one and he got mad at Newman and just started coming down on him to show he was upset and then they got hung up and yeah you know, I, I mean without a doubt without a doubt the 14 and him coming from the right to the left down the straightaway is the cause of the accident. The question is, why? He's it off. Big accident into turn three. The seven makes hard contact with two to go, and we're going to go into overtime. Regan Smith into the wall. That means Denny Hamlin will have to fight for this one. Casey Kane, freshest tires, fourth. Way till this caution happened at the end of the chase. With no chance of someone new winner coming in. So, what will all these guys do now? See the seven just lose it. I can't tell if the left rear tire is down or if he just spins out on corner entry. Very aggressive behind him. Denny Hamlin checking out though. Hamlin reaches the overtime line and they spin right, behind right him. Behind you, right behind you. But it stays caution so far. Caution has not come out yet. And the 42 of Kyle Larson. Hamlin wins at Richmond. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Kurt Busch in the 41 slid as he came across the start-finish line.